Hey guys, so in this video, I want to show you how to quickly batch process HDR photos in Lightroom. And really, this is super, super simple. I actually didn't know there is a way to batch process the HDR photos until today. I'm really excited and I want to share it with you guys. So I do a lot of real estate photography. So in a lot of interior shots, um, you know, I have to do bracketing to, you know, get all the highlights and the shadows uh, brought out from a single image. So I can create an HDR from, you know, multiple images. And I always did this by hand by, you know, basically just selecting uh, the three photos and then right click and then select the um, photo merge option, which is the HDR. Um, or you can press Control plus H to bring up the HDR manual to do a uh, single image HDR merge. Uh, someone actually just told me uh, I can do batch process, so I don't have to wait for that dialog the dialog box to pop up and then go through it and then click OK and hit the next image by selecting the next three. I can just do it with one key press, a combination key press. So um, if you look over here, I actually have the image batch processing right now because that's what I did. I used the combination key to batch process. So uh, let's get to the chase. Um, the key to use, so once you have three images selected, you don't have to bring up the dialect to go into the HDR merge. You just press Control Shift plus H, which is a extra key press compared to the HD, regular HDR merge. So Control Shift H, it's not going to bring up the HDR merge menu. It's going to use your last HDR merge setting to do a HDR merge for all your images. Um, and then it just creates the HDR image right over here automatically for you. Um, once the task is done, I'm going to have a whole bunch of HDR image ready for me over here. So uh, over here, you can quickly find out which one is the HDR merged. It's the one with the little... Um, icon on the bottom. So those are all the HDRs. Basically, I just go in and, you know, I mark it as a five star. So later on, I can go in and edit those images. But this is how you quickly add HDR image to your um, to your batch queue. So I just created a whole bunch of uh, HDR images from the batch. So it's all showing over there with a little icon on the bottom, like this one and this one. And uh, um, over here on the top left, you see there's no task in the task queue. So I'm just going to quickly create a whole bunch of HDR tasks using that batch key. And then um, it's going to start creating all the HDRs for my last few images. So just going to show you guys quickly how to do that. So I'm going to select those uh, three. It looks like it's in the batch. So I'm going to hit Control Shift and H. So nothing is going to happen, but uh, it's gonna you're gonna get a dialog that says the image is added the task is added to the queue and then it starts to do the HDR merges. Uh, obviously, it's not it's not the correct image. So uh, once you get an error because I actually selected the HDR image to be used in the merge, which is of course not good. So mm -hmm. this one I created. Let's go back a little bit and select. <clears throat> so this one looks like it's it's a batch. So I'm going to hit this one and control shift H and it's going to create HDR automatically without bringing up any dialogue. You can go ahead and do multiple ones. So I'm going to select this three, just hit control shift H and then select this three, control shift H. Once you hit that, you're going to see a little thing that says added to tasks. So Basically, that's how you how you batch process um, the how you batch process the HDR images by simply just pressing a three key combination. So H and uh, and your queue is gonna be on the top. So you see, you know when it's gonna finish, and then you're gonna see your HDR image popping up on the bottom over here in your preview, of course. So this one is, of course, HDR. So, of course, I can do some adjustments to the image later on, bring up the saturation and maybe straighten out the image a little bit. But uh, 
that's how you quickly do a batch HDR process in the Lightroom. Hope you guys find this video helpful. If you did, please do hit the like button and subscribe, and I should have more um, similar contents coming out for you guys. Thanks again, and take care.